So uh, today we presented a very exciting results of a phase two trial. Um, for a phase two trial, the enrollment was huge, more than 500 patients in a rare condition. It's called giant cell tumor of bone. It's um, a good and bad disease because it's uh, biologically uh, benign, so less uh, aggressive as compared to an high-grade uh, tumor, but um, as a, can disrupt the bone, so cause uh, lots of uh, um, limitation for quality of life and in some cases also uh, gives uh, lung metastasis. So for the advanced case, uh, till uh, a few years ago, the only option was surgery and uh, surgery not only as an eye morbidity in the bone, but also uh, the relapse rate uh, is uh, as high as 50% in some of the series. So the trial we presented today um, uh, is uh, in, on the use of a monoclonal antibody. It's called Dinosumab, direct to rank ligand. Rank ligand is uh, expressed by stromal cells and uh, activates the osteoclast differentiation immature osteoclast. So, it causes eventually increased bone erosion. So Dinosumab has been approved for the treatment of bone metastasis and uh, since 2013 for the treatment of giant cell tumor of bone. The results pre presented today were on the long-term efficacy um, on giant cell tumor of bone. And uh, it's a pretty new um, study because uh, uh, for, lung, for bone metastasis, the Nozomab was used only for three years. In this trial, we had patients uh, treated for up to seven, eight years. So the, the drug was able to control the disease in uh, almost all adv advanced metastatic patients undergoing treatment continuously. And um, there was also a cohort of patients uh, doing uh, the drug neoadjuvant and then undergoing resection. In those patients, we observed relapse rate of 34% after interaction, but uh, uh, the Nozomab re-challenge was also able to um, control the disease. And importantly, 37% uh, of the patient uh, in the surgical cohort, eventually ended to be treated with, by denosumab monotherapy. So I think that um, coming from uh, an uh, orthopedic uh, high-grade sarcoma uh, tumor center, I, I never, I've never seen a drug so targeted and so active uh, on almost uh, all uh, tumor when given continuously. When we Stop, we stop the, 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 the drug, we have to be careful of uh, uh, potential progression of the disease in a proportion of the, pa the patient. And the, the, also the side effects of this uh, drug were really manageable. Um, in first place it's a subcutaneous uh, drug given once uh, a month. Uh, the most uh, um, important side effects is uh, Osteonecrosis of the jaw, which uh, was also observed in the uh, Zometa trial. Um, we, the, the, we found uh, a confirmed ONJ in a 28 patients in the study, so about 5.3%. And um, this data uh, suggests careful uh, prevention of these side effects because uh, most of the patients with ONJ had prior tooth extraction or infection uh, before the ONJ event. So I think that it also reflects the length of the study. The study started to enroll in 2006 and now we are more aware of the uh, potential uh, uh, pro problem linked to bad um, oral cavity care. So that's really 
the point when he, from the inclusion of the patient, so we should select patient uh, also based on these uh, the comorbidities as known now, and uh, and also the um, following during the treatment. The pain, but also yes, from the surgery. Uh, for example. I have uh, a patient, uh, he started the treatment uh, when he was uh, 33 years old. He, um, he, 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 was, uh, he worked in the nightlife, he was a very active uh, guy, and he, he had uh, a pelvic uh, um, giant cell tumor of bone. So he underwent uh, surge, surgery in the past and then relapsed. So we put him uh, uh, to neoadjuvant uh, uh, dinosumab. He did uh, very well on uh, treatment. And then uh, he underwent uh, a second operation. So he, wo he was uh, off uh, treatment for some point. Then he relapsed, he, he received a second surgery. And then after that relapsed again. So eventually we decided to keep him on uh, dinosumab. And now he has uh, his job, his girlfriend, his active life, and is uh, uh, not is um, uh, not due to, to surgical operation any longer. So, if the patient is young, the ONJ problem are usually not uh, a concern. And uh, I, as I told, the the drug is really easy to use, subcutaneous injection, and able to keep controlling the disease uh, for uh, also, also uh, years. Uh, the, uh, this, this, the first point was safety and uh, so the quality of life was uh, not fra of the primary end point. But yes, the relapse, the progression uh, free survival was uh, one of the end point. Uh, usually progression in the bone lesion is associated with a decreased quality of life because they can't, uh, can't walk sometimes. No, the overall survival was in the, in the end point uh, of the study, so we had, uh, but uh, it, it's almost 100% uh, because the progression free survival at five years uh, it's 88%, uh, so almost uh, reaching 90%. Uh, so, and uh, this figure might even look better because we found the, the diagnosis of giant cell tumor bone is really is usually unequivocal. But uh, sometimes uh, in this trial we found uh, sampling uh, errors, it means that some case at the um, at, um, progressing was reviewed and we found high grade uh, uh, sarcoma put by mistake in the trial. So I think the overall survival at five years is uh, 100%. Um, the, that uh, the decision should be shared with the orthopedic surgeon. So in case of a small uh, uh, lesion that uh, they can easily maybe cure it, those might be uh, the, the, the case that uh, I will leave to the, 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 the surgeon. So very, uh, uh, very small uh, initial stage uh, disease uh, that, uh, that surgeon judge uh, curable by small curettage. In, in size, of course, and not too difficult to handle by their own, their own point of view. Anything else? I think yes, because of the, of the safety and also of the, the incredible activity, which reflects the, that we really get uh, to the target, the rank ligand in this disease uh, is a key pathway.